Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Asana to Excel. First of all, we want or we need to create an account in Asana. Once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and press home button. Now we want to pick the second option, which is explore integrations. After that, we want to go below the picture and there is explore integrations options. Now new window showed up with a couple of pre-made options for us by Asana. And we need to find the next cell here. So you can try your luck or you can, uh, yeah, you can uh, use like OneDrive files and make it from here, or you can actually go through another app, but Asana will actually help you with every other one. Like there is a Gmail, Microsoft Office, Google Calendar, uh, Chrome extensions and Zapier. In this case, Let's use Zapier. We want to go to zapier.com to create these integrations or make it work. I strongly recommend to creating an account here. So we want to make a Zap on the top left corner. We press our left click. Now we can name our Zap. So let's go uh, Asana to Excel like this. Okay, first of all, first trigger will come from Asana. So what will happen in Asana when, I don't know, new user, new project or new story is added? The easiest way, way how to show it to you, it's uh, actually on a new user. Let's press continue. We have to uh, pick an account now. We are picking an account. So once we pick an account, we want to go to continue and choose uh, and set up a trigger. Uh, my Asana account is under marketing. So yeah, once you are creating the Asana account, they are going to ask you like the field of your uh, field of your company. So we will just pick the one fitting the most for you. Now on the other side, there is outcome and the outcome is into Excel. So we are pressing Microsoft Excel option from a search engine. And now we need to uh, pick once again, the action event. So when something happened like this, like new user in Asana will come up, it will update a row or add a row in the Microsoft Excel. You press continue. And the last thing you want to do is just to sign in with Microsoft Excel and that's it. Your job, you created your integrations and that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.